Hello everyone, my name is Riley K. Jones. I'm a writer, teacher, and author tuber, and today we're going to count down my top five favorite YA books. Now before we jump into this video, I do want to just give credit where credit is due. This video was inspired by Alexa Dunn. She mentioned something in her most recent live stream about top YA books and so I wanted to give credit where credit is due that she was the inspiration for this video. Because I write YA thrillers, I wanted to show you guys and talk to you guys about what I love the most about these specific thrillers, spoiler free, and also just the YA thrillers that inspired me to write YA thriller. We're gonna go in not like any particular ranking order just because I don't think one of these books is better than the other. Um, these are just the five books that I really enjoyed. So instead we're gonna go in a chronological order kind of how I read them growing up and in my writer's journey and what I loved about those books specifically. The first book on our list is Blues for Nightmares by Lori Farah Stolitz. If you've seen some of my other book reviews, you know that Lori Farah Stolitz is a author that I have mentioned many times before, reading some of her other newer works, and I've always enjoyed her series and her books. So Blues for Nightmares is about a girl at a boarding school, so one of my favorite tropes, boarding school. She is unique in that she comes from a line of uh, Wiccans and witches, and she is able to get promotions through dreams, and she has a nightmare about her best friend and roommate dying and being killed and she knows that it's something that's going to happen in her future but she doesn't know exactly when and where and why and who so she's discovering all those questions are she's trying to figure all those out at the same time she has a crush on someone she's you know trying to go through normal everyday life as a student but at the same time she has this dreadful dreary urgency of trying to find who's gonna kill her best friend and stop that person from doing so now this book is a series so I can't remember because it's been a while since I read all of them but I have recently like read through this one and still enjoyed it same as I did before so I don't know which one on the series is my favorite I can't really give you which one is the favorite but the whole series as a whole there are four books loved them it was a huge inspiration to a lot of things that I write and it's just fabulous a lot of thriller gives you like the heebie-jeebies in a good way like when you're reading a thriller it's like oh no this is gonna happen um and this is a different style so if you're reading more current YA um the style is this was published in the early 2000s so the style is a little bit different but still so good the next book is actually part of a series as well I again I don't have like a rank for this series and lo and behold it's by the same author Lori Farah Stallarts and this is her touch series so this one's a little bit different where we have a girl her name is Kimala she has a near-death experience where this new kid named Ben saved her from a car that's about to hit her they have this like moment together and then everything kind of changes in her life she's for some reason drawn to him and then at the same time, she starts getting threat notes and things like that, of that nature. And her life just kind of like goes in flames and there's thriller-esque mentality and also a bit of romance. And so really awesome book read as well. I remember reading these at, late at night and being freaked out and like, ah, someone's gonna ha like something's gonna happen to me because I was reading this. Uh, she does a great job with her thriller and pacing and so really really loved those books so if you have an opportunity to get the touch series i would highly recommend it for 
thrillers. The next book is also a series. I guess I am a cheating a little bit by saying series but the reason why I'm gonna go series with this one is because it's a trilogy and I have not read the, the third part to the trilogy yet but I know I loved the first book and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This book is everything that I love about thrillers. Um, so we have Pip who is a high school senior and she is trying to solve an unsolved case that happened in her town a few years prior and she does that for her senior like a senior thesis type process progress uh senior thesis like presentation project for her like it's called a capstone project um for her to graduate high school and she goes and becomes a detective solving this crime and has just enough suspense and whodunit and just it's a really fun read if you like thrillers if you are interested in thrillers then this book was really fabulous i loved every moment of it i loved getting to know who the characters were and what's interesting about this book compared to like other ya books is it's not written in first person the first two that i talked about were written in first person i think first person past and then first person present this is written in third person past but then you get to know her first person voice through little snippets of her project throughout the book and i thought that was a really fun twist to have a little bit of fresh air to regarding instead of having the first person present um that a lot of ya typically has another thing about this book is it just has so much twists and turns and although that you think like you might have solved something, it all kind of like puts it together in a really do well done way. Same thing with her sequel, Good Girl, Bad Blood. Like I wouldn't be able to say which one's my favorite between the two. Like there, I read that one more recently, so maybe I'm a little more inclined to that one, but I can't wait to read the final part to the trilogy. Uh, I think it's called a, a Girl, something about being dead, a, girls as good as dead or something like that. I will put the title here. I can't wait to read that one and see how Pip's journey ends and fabulous read if you like mystery and thrillers. I feel like they also really hint on some of the forensics and police work very a lot in this book and unlike the other books that were more um, supernatural in some elements of that, this book is more grounded and real world. I do have a favorite between this and next series and I'm only gonna say this one is in my top five but the first one is not in my top five and that is One of Us is Next by Carrie McManus. This is actually the sequel to One of Us is Lying and I really think that this one was more enjoyable for me than One of Us is Lying. I love One of Us is Lying like it is a great book but One of Us is Next just had that like nail on the head for me like personally I really really loved the way that she wrote this so one of us is next takes place back at Bayview Bayview there is a truth or dare game that is app that was developed very similarly to the the gossip app that Simon produced in the last one and there's this game and if you have, if you play if you get chosen to play it you have to play it or else a truth will be revealed about revealed about you and then someone ends up in a lot of trouble and they're trying to figure out what happened to this person why is this thing happening like there's a lot of mystery and suspense involved in that and i loved that book so much so it takes place with ma the younger sister of brown and sorry if i messed that name up uh it's really hard it's really hard for me to pronounce bronwyn but she was one of the main characters from the last book and so it takes place with her her friend best friend Knox and then Phoebe and I think the reason why I liked this one more than one of us is lying is because there were only three POVs versus there in one of us lying 
one of us is lying. There were four POVs, and I think the four was really hard for me to follow because they kept switching and voice, and it sometimes left me uninvested. That's just my personal take. I still love the book. It was really cool. Can't wait for the TV show. So, like, I am all about one of us is lying. But one of us is next. Highly, it's a lot better in my opinion. And there's gonna be another one. Like, what? I had no idea until a couple months ago, and I'm like so thrilled, so psyched, so stoked for one of us is one of us is whatever the title. But it's probably gonna be like one of us is something. Um, so stoked for the sequel for this book. One of us is next. Highly, highly recommend. Very fast paced. Very twisty turvy very mystery scooby gang kind of mentality going on love it the last book on my list of ya thrillers is monday is not coming by tiffany jackson so this book i think i felt the most in this book it gave me a lot of feelings and this one resonated the most as being like an actual like physical case like i felt like i was reading a documentary because of the way it was told everything felt so real there were some even like twisty turvy times where the narrator felt a little unreliable um and then everything kind of gets explained in the end of like why that felt unreliable this book just changed my perspective on a lot of things but it also felt the most like a true crime documentary that i was reading um i also felt a lot for the victim's family and i also felt for her best friend where um so a bit about this book so claudia's best friend monday disappears and no one seems to care that she is missing no one seems to care that she's not at school. No one seems to care that they can't get a hold of her. The police don't care. The adults don't care. No one cares except for Claudia, who's missing her best friend. And so you go through her journey and her mourning the fact that her best friend just up and left. She's wondering if like if there's something wrong with her. Is like and like how can she go on when like her only friend of the world is just gone so there's a lot of feelings there and then we don't know what's happened to monday is she still alive is she being tormented somewhere like we don't know and it just hit home like it it just felt so real and so prevalent and i absolutely loved it and i'm glad that I picked this book up and it just makes you feel things and I just I love this so much those are my top five favorite YA novels now these are there's some books that haven't come out yet that are on my to be read list so maybe they will get one of these books might get bumped out for one of them like who knows I'm recording this as of August 2021 um, I know I have a few more YA thrillers that I am looking forward to writing and I'm putting those on the screen as right now because I'm, I am really excited for them so we'll see what they have to offer. Some honorable mentions I just want to throw out there like books that I love that just did not end up in my top five. Um, one of them is The Ivies by Alexa Dunn. Love the ending. Love that so much. Another one, One of Us is Lying. Again, it's kind of an honorable mention mentioned before. And then the other two that I've mentioned on this channel before is Jay Anonymous and The Last Secret You'll Ever Keep by Laurie Thayer Stollarts. Those were also really awesome. So if you are looking for a thriller and you're not sure which one to choose, that is my recommendations for your enjoyment. If your favorite did not appear on this list, let me know in the comments below and we can recommend books to each other. And I can't to check those out and read them because YA thrillers are one of my favorite books to read if not the best and that is it for today's video if you like this video make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up it lets me know that you like videos like this one and if you haven't already click subscribe i release all new videos and all things writing and reading every thursday 
Again, don't forget to let me know in the comments below what is your favorite YA thriller that you recommend for myself and anyone in the comments to read. And if you have made it this far, let me know also by putting a little book emoji in the comments down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Keep writing, keep reading, and stay creative. Bye!